What is up guys? It's your favorite idiot, Canyon Kev, coming at you once again. This time, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get to Mr. Bubbles. So I'm at the Beckler Ranger Station right now, and this is the trailhead. So just a few tips before you actually get out on the trail. This is about two hours from West Yellowstone, and Ashton is a pretty good town to stop in if you want to resupply before you get out here on the trail. That's what I did. And uh, hit that place called Frogo. They've actually got pretty good burgers and homemade root beer. Be aware that this is still part of Yellowstone. So if you want to stay the night, you got to get a backcountry permit. And also make sure you have some bear spray on you just in case. You're going to come across this little intersection after you go over the bridge, after you first start at the ranger station, you're going to want to make a left. So now you're going to come across your second intersection of the trip, go right. Yo, real quick, big shout out to Eric over at the ranger station for hooking me up with a campsite directly across from Mr. Bubbles. I doubt that you're going to see this video, but if you do, you're the freaking man. Thank you. So one thing about bears is they really don't like noise. If you're hiking with someone else, then chances are you're probably going to be talking, making enough noise. But if you're alone, then you might as well just start talking to yourself out loud like this so the bears all know you're around. Whoa, this is quite an unnerving big hole. Whew. Size comparison. Wonder what the hell lives in there. Just ran into a cool group of folks from Michigan. They gave me some extra bear sprays. Another intersection right here. This is the Rocky Ford cutoff. And this is the way, keeping straight to Mr. Bubbles. Passing by 9B1, right before I head into the meadows. So you have the option of fording the river if you want to, but I'm just gonna go over this sweet little bridge. Oh, this is a bouncy little bridge. Crossing over that cool little bridge will bring you into the meadows. Out there in the distance, you can see the Tetons. Coming to this intersection in the middle of the meadows, you're gonna wanna hang this right right here. Continue on the Beckler Meadows Trail. By the way, this is about five miles out from the ranger station. The views are insane from this meadow. It's only gonna get better because next, I'm gonna start crossing waterfalls. So we have now reached the Beckler Ford at the end of the meadows. All right, so here we go, fording the Beckler River. And the water is really not too cold, even though it's October 1st. Following the map, pass by 9B3, out of the meadows and back into the forest. It can get pretty dense out here, honestly, so just keep your eyes peeled. So like I was talking about, when you get to this thick part of the woods, you're gonna be faced with a decision. <clears throat> Looking on the map, it appears that we're going right. It's 9 before you need to continue right. And I think that's the last intersection that you're going to face before you get to Mr. Bubbles. Linking up with the river, you're going to start to come into this little canyon here. Now the trail is following alongside this little river. It gets really, really narrow. And it's right here that you're going to come across your first waterfall of the trip. Boom, you follow the river long enough you'll come across this giant rock scramble. I just gotta say, one of my biggest fears about being on a trip like this is not the bears, it's the freaking skunks. Because if you get sprayed by a skunk, good luck talking to chicks for weeks, maybe even months. Safe to say, if I encounter a skunk, we're having a little spray down. Now for the first time in about three hours, the trail starts going up. It's been pretty flat up until this point. So you go up this hill and next thing you know, you can hear the Colonnade Falls in the distance. These are the Colonnade Falls. Absolutely beautiful. Another awesome waterfall that you'll pass on your way to Mr. Bubbles. Right after that second waterfall, you're gonna cross 9B5. Some sort of volcanic rock or something. This is Iris Falls. About 45 feet tall. We even got a little bit of rainbow action down there. I'd imagine these falls are amazing in the summer. Coming over here, nice and refreshing. Nice mist blowing on you. 
There you can see all the mist rising off of this awesome waterfall. This isn't really a good example, but after Iris Falls, you're gonna start making a significant gain once again. I just saw some dude on the trail that looks exactly like me, but in like 25, 30 years. Oddly enough, he's coming from the same campsite that I'm going to. How ironic. It's once you get past the meadows, it basically follows this awesome river all the way up and it's cascading the whole time. So it never leaves you bored, even if you are gaining a little bit of elevation. You are now passing by 9B6, which means you're gonna have to ford another river soon. So if you're not into this whole fording thing, don't blame me, blame the creator of the trail. Round two, fight. Another fording in progress. So just a note to self, be careful when you're doing this. Don't carry your shoes in your hand like me because these rocks are pretty slippery and if you fall, I don't know if you're ever gonna dry your shoes before you get back. Round two Ford is in the books. That was definitely more difficult than the first. All right, so boss two, defeated. So now when you're hiking, the river's gonna be on your right instead. 9B7, we're getting closer and closer to Mr. Bubbles. So there are about five or six of these guys, but like I said, if you've already forded those two rivers, then you should have no problem. We may have some evidence that a big old bear might have been trying to climb up this tree. More bear claws in this tree. If you see a black bear and you want to get away, don't try running up a freaking tree. It's not going to work. A lot of people don't know this, but before all of its predators became extinct, the black bear was actually not the top of the food chain at all. And it was basically running away from bigger animals trying to get it. So I guess black bears just evolved to become really, really good tree climbers. So it appears that I have met the final boss, the third and final Ford before getting to Mr. Bubbles. Ah, <sighs> let's do this. By the way, it took me almost exactly four and a half hours to get to this third crossing. We're doing it. Woo. Water's not too bad, especially if you've done this twice already. Final boss defeated. We have officially forded the three rivers needed to get to Mr. Bubbles. It's like a massive bear, a massive human stepped on this. Finally, some signs of civilization. Even though I just saw two guys camping down there. Getting closer and closer. I gotta point out that unlike other backcountry trips that I've been on, this one really isn't much of an ass kicker. It's fairly moderate and there's good features along the way to keep you occupied. And with that being said, this isn't even really hiking, man. This is just adventuring. 9BO. I think this is actually some sort of ranger station because there's a cabin in there. Got some nice canyon views up there. I'm here to warn you because you're watching my video. You're probably going to try to come up here. Do not jump in this thermal pool. This is not Mr. Bubble. And this thermal pool is really nice to look at, but not to soak in. I'll show you guys the real Mr. Bubbles come this way. This is not Mr. Bubbles either. I don't know why seeing this stuff would even make you want to jump in it. Another thermal feature, which is really, really nice to look at, but not to swim in. So if you've ever been to Yellowstone Parks, so you'll know that this is a discoloring caused by bacteria, actually. Pretty neat. You'll know you're on the right track to Mr. Bubbles when you start going up this hill. You're gonna be like, what the hell, man? I haven't had to do this this whole hike, but you're going the right way, trust me. You are now gonna come across a confusing section where it looks like, damn it, I have to ford the river again. All right, so a crucial part of getting to Mr. Bubbles is passing by this campsite, 9D1. Still kicking though. All right, folks, so you pass by 9D1 campsite and you keep going and then you get to this little fork. You make a right right here. And I'd say your destination is about half a mile from there. Beyond that point, you're gonna pass by this thing and just continue right. You're gonna get to this little intersection where you see a bunch of springs. Keep going on the trail.
you're going to pass by these very impressive thermal features on your right. And Mr. Bubbles is right around the corner from here. And eventually you're going to come to this little pool right here with these bubbles coming out of the middle. It looks like a 30 person hot tub and you've made it. That's Mr. Bubbles. This is a place where the hot stream meets the cold stream. And it forms this awesome hot tub right here. So without further ado, go take a dip. What are you waiting for? You've hiked 15 miles to get here. One sure shot way to know that you're at the right place is because it's got this one section of bubbles right in the middle, just like a giant hot tub. This is one of Yellowstone's best kept secrets. This place is too cool, man. If you can hike the 15 miles to get out here, I would highly recommend it. And as you saw, there's a bunch of cool waterfalls and stuff like that on the way too, so it doesn't really get much better than this. This is one of the few thermal pools that you can actually swim in in Yellowstone. So there's roughly a 15 mile hike to get here, which means you're gonna have to do 15 miles back. So I'd recommend camping out here. It's extremely beautiful anyways. Very happy to show you one of Yellowstone's best kept secrets. So if you see this video, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it. I'm gonna be doing a whole lot of videos like this in the future. So if you like this one, go ahead and subscribe. But other than that, I'm Canyon Kev signing out. Peace!